Hi guys, so I am so excited to be sharing this recipe today for my lactation cookies. I absolutely love this recipe and this is a must have if you're a new mom with a little baby and you're breastfeeding. This cookie recipe was developed to help boost milk supply. I really cannot stress how much I adore this recipe. It's a really good easy snack and it's full of wholesome ingredients. A lot of the times when you're looking at lactation cookies to buy, the ingredients are kind of a little bit unhealthy and just something that I just never felt comfortable putting in my body, especially when I'm thinking about feeding the bub. So I decided to develop this recipe to give you something that's really healthy, wholesome, that you can feel good about and that will help with boost milk supply. So let's get into the details as to why these lactation cookies are what you need to add to your diet. So there's three ingredients in these lactation cookies that are known to boost milk supply. The first is oats. Then we've got some flaxseed, which I've ground into ground flaxseed. And then finally, we've got brewer's yeast. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about brewer's yeast because you might not be familiar with this ingredient. It's a little bit difficult to find at grocery stores, so I ordered it on Amazon and I'll include a link for where you can get it and it comes really quick. So brewer's yeast is comes in this powdered form and it's known to help boost milk supply because it's really high in nutrients and B vitamins. I find brewer's yeast to be a little bit bitter, but don't worry about that. We've got other ingredients in here like maple syrup and chocolate, which is gonna mask that flavor. It masks really well in these cookies. As well, you can buy an unbittered version on Amazon and I've got the link for that. So you can get this exact brewer's yeast that I'm using here. Okay, so we've talked about the important ingredients in this lactation cookie recipe, but what else is in this recipe? So we have some all-purpose flour, some coconut sugar, some coconut flakes, and some vegan chocolate chips. And then we've got a little bit of maple syrup to sweeten, some vanilla, and some baking soda, baking powder, and salt. So I'm gonna start by combining the dry ingredients, except for the chocolate chips and the coconut, we're gonna leave that to the end. So we'll start by combining the oats, the flaxseed, and the brewer's yeast, and the all-purpose flour. We're also gonna throw in the baking soda, the baking powder, and the salt. Next, in a bigger bowl, I'm gonna combine the butter and coconut sugar. So you're gonna have half a cup of vegan butter for this recipe, and you're gonna cream it together with the coconut sugar. So you can just grab a knife and cut the vegan butter into chunks. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're using cold butter for this recipe. Okay, now we're gonna add the coconut sugar. and we're gonna cream this together. So I've got this on a low speed for now, and I can increase it if I need, but I just don't want my butter and sugar shooting out of this bowl. So I'm gonna wait until it's a little more combined, and then I'll increase the speed. This usually takes about a minute to get everything together. And you can see it's starting to come together now. It's getting a little bit less clumpy and a little bit more smooth. Okay, so next, we're gonna add a little bit of maple syrup. And a splash of vanilla. And I'm gonna cream this together again. And this is what it should look like. This is your wet ingredients. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix my dry ingredients and my wet to combine. So I'm just gonna pour it in bit by bit 
and kind of mix while I go until we get a really nice smooth batter. I mean, I guess it's not gonna be smooth because it has oats in it, but you get what I mean. So this lactation cookie recipe I made a lot when I was pregnant at the very late stages of my pregnancy so that I could have them to eat on those really busy first few days and they were just the perfect treat. I used to bring them up to my room and I would snack on them at night feeds because you get so hungry when the baby's first born and it was just such a good easy snack. This recipe can also be frozen, which is really, really helpful because you can make it in advance, a few batches, say two or three batches of these cookies and throw them in the freezer and then you have them ready. I know things get so busy when you have a little one coming, so it's always good to kind of prep in advance and have this cookie recipe ready. Okay, so here is what the batter looks like. And then finally, we're gonna finish by adding our chocolate chips and our coconut flakes. Pour in the chocolate chips and the coconut flakes and we're going to mix that now to combine. I actually love this batter so much that sometimes I just eat it raw <laughs> while I'm making them. Because this recipe is vegan, you don't have to worry about eating raw eggs or anything like that. You can, if you don't even want to cook it, you don't have to. If you prefer that raw cookie dough, then just go ahead. But personally, I like them cooked. Okay, here is the batter. Okay, so now we have our cookie batter. We're gonna put this on our baking tray. I like to line with parchment paper just because it makes everything nice and clean. And you're gonna roll these into little golf size balls. So you just roll them up with your hands and place them on the tray. And this cookie recipe should make 16 cookies in total. So this cookie recipe was so popular in our household that even my husband and my dad would eat them. My dad would come over and be looking for them. And it used to make me so mad because they were for lactation. And I was like, you can eat anything you want in this house, except these cookies are off limits. Just so you know, it's not gonna make men lactate, <laughs> but you might wanna tell them that it will just in case so that they don't eat all your cookies. Okay, so I've got these cookies on a baking tray now. We're gonna bake these in the oven at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. We want them to be golden brown. Okay guys, so these cookies are done. I've let them cool a little bit, enough to handle, and I'm gonna let them cool completely on my baking tray. I absolutely love these lactation cookies for a quick snack. I found them incredibly helpful during the night feeds when you wake up so hungry. And of course, they're really good in the daytime as well. You can have them for breakfast. You can really just have them anytime you want. Keep your husbands and dads away from them because these cookies should be made for you. I found that these cookies really helped boost my milk supply. They're really delicious, they're chewy, they're sweet, and I really think you're gonna enjoy them. I hope that they help you as much as they have me, and enjoy.